Let us now look at what happens when there is a change in temperature on the system in equilibrium. Let's take this reaction for example. Pink hexa aqua cobalt reacts with chloride ions to form tetrachloro cobalt and water, which is blue. This is an endothermic reaction, which means that it takes in heat as it reacts. Say I increase the temperature. The Chatelier's principle tells us the system will want to counteract the effects of increasing temperature, so it wants to decrease the temperature. In that case, which direction of reaction should, pro should proceed in order to decrease the temperature? It makes sense that, of course, in the, it is the direction of the endothermic reaction. Where is the exothermic reaction there? For those of you who have forgotten your thermochemistry, it is the reverse of the endothermic reaction. So that means that an increase in temperature will cause the mixture to appear less pink and more blue, and vice versa as the temperature decreases. Specifically, again, Le Chatelier's principle states that when temperature is increased, the position of the equilibrium shifts in the direction of the endothermic reaction. When the temperature is decreased, the position of the equilibrium shifts in the direction of the exothermic reaction. That's all there is to know. Here's a little bit of extra information. For a while now, I've been telling you that the equilibrium constant K is not affected by a change in concentration of reactants or products, or that of a pressure change. So, does it ever change? Well, yes it does. Many constants in the area of chemistry are constants given specific standard conditions. The standard condition of temperature and pressure is, if you follow the IUPAC Gold Book, 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. It happens that when there is an increase in temperature, K for an endothermic reaction increases, while K for an exothermic reaction decreases. So it's not just the equilibrium position shifting, the equilibrium actually shifts. You do not need to explain this in the topic of equilibria, this is a concept more relevant in thermodynamics.